Oh, we'll just do a little update here. We got some, we pulled out a Manazita uh, rest stop and uh, about, we just kind of, it had kind of flattened out at that point. So we did the hard part. Uh, that was coming down to North Kabab into Manazita and stuff. That was, that was a, quite a, quite a trip down. Uh, we, we, uh, we came way down fast. You know, um, uh, definitely the knees were showing it. You know, uh, didn't expect that. I haven't had any issues with my knees from training and, and uh, just, just a little bit. Just, I think it's very, very manageable. I have a little ibuprofen uh, and things. Um, uh, Emily's falling a little behind me right now, but I think she's just enjo enjoying the zen for a moment. You know, um, yeah, we're following the, uh, you can hear it. I don't know if you can see it, but we're following the Bright Angel Creek. We've been following it since we left Manazita about 30 minutes ago, I think is when we left. Uh, and like I said, the trail is certainly flattened out. Uh, um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're probably over an hour behind our schedule, what we thought we were going to do. So um, maybe we'll make it up here on these flat spots. We're kind of moving along pretty briskly now. The scenery isn't quite as, I mean, it's beautiful everywhere you look. It's just, it's just, uh, no Emily. Oh, well. Uh, everywhere you look, it's still just beautiful. But it's certainly not as uh, uh, dramatic, you know. And there, there up in the corner there, I think that's where we're headed up to the north rim and stuff. I could be mistaken, but I think that's the north rim, that little crevice going up through there uh, is where we're going to end up and stuff. And like I said, what is it? It's, uh, it's 1024. Uh, we're probably only six miles into the day, uh, 14 miles to Phantom Ranch. So we've got about eight miles, I think, uh, of this flat stuff uh, to get to Phantom Ranch. And uh, um, I was kind of hoping we'd be at Phantom Ranch at noon. And it's 1024, you know. So uh, even if we got there at noon, that gives us six hours to get out. So it's it's looking pretty much like uh, we're going to come out in the dark. Uh, I'm guessing once we get to Phantom Ranch, it's going to be a, a minimum six hours and out and stuff. So... Uh, uh, no worries, we're well equipped for it. Everybody's feeling good. Uh, just got a couple Advil from Emily a little bit ago. Uh, the knee, I can definitely feel the knee is much better. Oh, speak of the devil, there she is. Hi, Emily. Oh, Hi. Emily's videoing me as I'm videoing her. So this is this is why we're falling two hours behind because this is just too much fun. You know, absolutely gorgeous. And we've been. We haven't seen a soul here in probably about 45 minutes. Ah, thir well, I said we left Manzita 30 minutes ago. We haven't seen a person uh, since we left there. And also, uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, so, let's see. People we've met. Well, I tell you what, coming down uh, this to this point in our trip since 6 a.m. this morning, we have, ha we have passed, well, let's see. I bet we've had, oh gosh, 15 groups passed us. Uh, some of them just on day, uh, some of them also doing rim to rim, uh, on our shuttle bus, there were, uh, uh folks doing uh, rim to rim and stuff. Uh, they shot out right out of the gate uh, from the trailhead. So yeah, we've probably had 15 groups pass us. We have passed a total of zero groups. You know, I don't know what to make of that. I think we're moving slow. <laughs> you know, uh, we've, uh. Uh, one of the interesting people that has passed us. I don't know. I mentioned it bright angel Creek. You can probably hear it You know one of the folks that passes was this uh, 78 year old guy wearing blue jeans Just regular tennis shoes and stuff and and uh, he just uh, we stood and let him go by and, and uh, he was passing us in our direction and uh, How you doing? Morning. Morning. Hi. Uh, he uh, was passing us in our direction and uh, uh, he started telling a story about Ribbon Falls and going there. And he, he, he just slips out went, and we moved the rocks there so you could get across the, and I stopped and said, oh, you said we moved the rocks. He said, yeah, he says, well, not me, but he says a group of us. And I says, how many times you done this trip? He said, this is my 38th time uh, doing the, the rim to rim trip. And he said he had just finished the uh, Arizona trail, which is uh, end to end Arizona. At all, so uh, apparently lives out here too. Uh, this look, this is looking like a very positive sign now. Uh, Mule Corral, uh, we're coming up on Cottonwood uh, Campground, hopefully. Oh wow, I hope so. If that's the case, uh, that place is about eight miles in, and uh, 
uh, eight miles at at uh, 10 10 30 that's back to the two miles an hour we're just oh, we're not doing we're not bad then oh well we'll keep up hope you know so there's emily i didn't lose her you know so all right check in later